welcome to Kasubi Tombs. So this is Katubi Tombs, one of the UNESCO's heritage sites in Uganda. This place was uh, built in 1882 by Kabaka Mutesa I. And then uh, when he died in 1884, it was turned into a tomb where Kabakas are buried. So right now there are four Kabakas that have been buried in this place. And um, Kabaka is a king in Buganda kingdom. So this is how the Uganda people used to build their, their houses. Actually, this place was a palace before. So right now is a UNESCO's heritage site. So, that is it. Hello, well done. So this was a palace in 1882. Wow. He married 84 wives. 84. 84. I told you this place, the place of living heritage, that whatever was taking place is still happening. The 84 wives are still in place. When one dies, another person from the same family comes and takes over. So, men, as he could, but he has to first get the first three wives. The first wife, the first wife is entitled Kadulubari. Kadulubari is the first wife. So, after calling the king, the care leaders are the one who is to look for such a girl, a beautiful and a virgin girl for the king. Then that girl is brought here. Uh, oh, she could be taken to a king, mm. and that's the first wife, and she's given title Kadulubale. Mm. She's the one leading all the wives, mm. and she's the queen, the mm. official queen. This time round, we address her as Nabagereka. Mm. So the title was changed from Kadulubale to Nabagereka. But mm. here, we maintain that name because during our time, the first regime, we could call her Kadulubale. Mm. Then, after getting that one, the first wife, she's the queen. Then the rest are uh, having different titles. Mm. The second wife is given the title of Nasaza. Mm. The grandmother, mm. the king, is the one to look for that girl. When the king gets the first one, then the grandmother do mm. the, that work of finding another girl. That's the second wife. Her role is to design the, the timetable, the shifts for the wives, mm -hmm. and even to take a care of the sitting room mm. in the Kabaka's house. After getting that one, the second wife, Nasaza, the king also given a chance to look for a beautiful girl by himself. And that's the third wife, so given, given a title of Kabeja. Mm -hmm. The king's favorite. When, yeah, the king's favorite. When I to translate, mm -hmm. Kabeja. And that <laughs> wife could, she could be close to the king, and Anytime. she could be knowing um, some of the secrets of the king. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so they have time. they have different houses eh? down there. We shall look at them. Mm. Yes, and their descendants when they come, they take over such houses, and they are, they also take over such titles. Mm. So then the rest team mm. uh, come here after clan leaders choose them because each clan leader is supposed to bring here girl. Mm -hmm. So they keep on bringing, bringing, bringing. Mm -hmm. And those are given a uniform title, mm -hmm. Muzana. Mm -hmm. Muzana, each one is called Muzana, Muzana. Mm -hmm. But it's from the first three, Kadulubari, Kabe, Nasaza, and Kabeja. The rest of Muzana. So who had, yeah, so out of yeah. the, out of the 30 sure. something kings, how many, uh, which one had had the highest number of wives? The kings? Mm. Ah, many, the, the kings of, Long time mm. they had many. You know, I see the, the father, mm. the father of this king mm. was Kabaka Suna the second. Mm. 
In the history shows she had 140 something wives. They didn't have concubines. It was also... No, you said... He was a senior man. It's not like he was even... There are those ones he liked and then there are those ones that was being gifted. Yeah, you are tribe. If you are a father and you have a beautiful daughter, you give to the king. To give him favor. So this house has been here since when? 1882. Since yes. 1882. 1882. It was the house of the the first wife to the to the king. That is Kaduluvali. Kaduluvali. And the one we have, the Kaduluvali we have now, the descendant, mm. is the one who's sitting outside. Oh. That one. And she's the fourth successor to the original. The fourth successor. Uh, when they die, they are buried in their respective plots of land. Mm. Each wife has a burial ground. So they are buried there. So she's the first successor, as you see, I have been before. So this is her house, uh, Panau. Panau this okay, can, house. can I just enter and see you how this house looks? This is even has a ceiling. You can peek inside. She's using that kitchen. Right now. Mm. I can enter inside. You can. Uh, I stop from. Uh, oh. oh, wow. It has yeah. a ceiling. It has a ceiling. Up. So this, this ceiling was built in, in 1882. They do renovate it, but oh. it was like this. So the house is renovated. Same size, mm. same size, same architectural plan. Wow. They do innovate. Oh, 1882. That's the first kind of a modern house in the place. Oh, mm. nice. In 1882. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, beautiful. Hello. <laughs> Jewale. We have a central disease to administration. They can just appoint people to help. King in ruling Uganda. So from county chief we got sub county chiefs up to the village chiefs. Then still we have the clan chiefs. So we have different clothes. Clan, clan chiefs are on this side of rituals, ritual side. Then the, the chiefs on the side of county, sub county, village chiefs, they are the one on the political side. To, and they, they are in line with the prime minister. Prime minister you come to county. From county, you come to sub county, sub county to village. That's how it was, and that's how Uganda was organized mm. even before the colonialists. Mm. So they came here and they were much surprised to find such an organized kingdom mm. within the East Africa, mm. the interior part of East Africa. Mm. And they, not only that, they found such amazing structures. Mm. These houses you see, they have been like this since 1882. So this is how they are constructed. Mm. This is how people in Baganda used to construct the houses for the, mm. their king. Mm. So this is the architectural plan for the king of Uganda. Mm. It is made up in such a way that she is having the rings. Mm. The rings up are representing the kings of Uganda. Mm. That if Uganda is a heart like this, the clans have a big role in supporting a kingdom to stand. Mm. In Uganda, each clan has a specific role within Kabaka's palace. Out of the 52 clans we had by the time of Kabaka Mutesa the first, the all 52 clans had different roles within Kabaka's palace, even up to now. Mm. So clans have a big role in supporting the kingdom to stand. When you go to the big house there, even the poles, this one supporting the heart to stand, they are 52 in number, to indicate that clans have a role in supporting the kingdom, whereby each clan is assigned to a different duty. In Uganda, each clan is having a clan leader, and each clan is having a clan totem, that's a clan symbol. A clan totem can be an animal, can be a bird, can be an insect, can be a plant material. If your clan totem is edible, you aren't allowed to eat that clan totem of yours. You have to look at it as your brother and your sister. So in that element, our ancestors were very wise. They had the element of conservation. Mm. So they are conserved for future generations. Okay. And you are not supposed to marry from the same clan. Mm. If you are sharing a clan with, your, with a girl or a man, you cannot marry him or her. That is your brother, that is your sister. Except if you are the Kabaka. Yeah. Uh, yeah maybe Even the king, Kabakas uh, don't marry clans. When, when, when you are you are having someone from your mother's clan, even that person is your mother. Mm. You don't have to marry. Anyone from your mother's clan is your mother, is your uncle. Mm. So you spare those two clans. Mm. Then from the rest you can marry. Mm. Yeah. 
So when you, Buganda Kingdom has been in existence for over 800 years, and from day one up this time, Buganda Kingdom has got 36 kings. The title of our king is Kabaka, that's the title. But that title is given to a ruling king. When a king dies, a title changes from Kabaka to Sekabaka. So out of the 36 kings, that means we only have one king, one Kabaka. The rest are Sekabaka because the king kingship in Uganda is hereditary. When a father dies, a son takes over. That is it. So what is the meaning of the word Sekabaka? Sekabaka is a dead king. Sekabaka is a dead king. The one who is dead is the one whose name or entitled Sekabaka to differentiate them from the one who is ruling and the, mm. the dead ones. So when you are addressing the when you are addressing the dead king, you say Sekabaka Mutesa the second. The current king, you cannot call him Sekabaka. You call him Kabaka. Mm. Yes. Then the the kings do not die. That's what we believe in in Uganda. Mm. The kings do not die. They just disappear. So you say the king has disappeared. Mm. And when they disappear, they disappear into a into a forest, which we call a sacred forest. When you go to their tombs, because when you enter into their tombs, you find that that hut where they are buried, or where they are kept, because we don't say they are buried, yeah. we say they are kept. Yeah. So where they are kept, you find that the hut is divided into two, mm. using a back cloth curtain. Mm. A back cloth curtain will be from up from down, separating the heart into two. Yeah. Behind a back cloth curtain, that's what you call a sacred forest. Yeah. And that's where exactly. the kings yeah. are kept from. That's where they disappear from. Yeah. And that point is not accessible to everyone. Only widows, only family members, and some few people from the upper clan who do the interior designing of the Kabakas houses. They are the only ones committed to go behind the back cloth curtain. So, I'll talk more about it if you go where that curtain is. Mm -hmm. Currently, permit me to talk about this place mm -hmm. where you are now. I'll ask you one question mm -hmm. Has there ever been an instance where Kabaka didn't have a son to be the heir? That can happen. It has ever been there. But they go to the, the brother. Mm -hmm. the, among the sons of the brother, they get another person to come mm -hmm. and take over. Yes. Okay, and uh, another question. What is the meaning of the word Saba Saja? Saba Saja is that it means that the, it means a supreme one, the one who's leading all men. Among men, we have one who's leading all men. The husband of men. He's leading all men. <laughs> He's the, the greater one, the, oh. the best. Eh? He's leading all men. That's why we see for him, he's given. It is having that allowance of admiring any woman. Even if he finds you with your wife, the king can say, I've admired this girl. Now and I he want takes her to be and he takes her. my wife. Yes, and he can take her. That's why we call him Sarasajja. Sarasajja. Yes. Oh, yeah, above all, it above means above all, all above men. Above all men. Oh. It's above all men. Yes. Yes, a lady cannot. <laughs> and he likes you to give him. You offer your wife. Yes. He doesn't offer that. No queens. Yeah, and there are queens actually. So the the one we call a queen in Uganda is that first wife to the king. This, she's the one whom we call her <laughs> queen. The the rest are wives. Yes. Mm. So this this place where you are, Kasubi tombs, was established in 1882 by Kabaka Mutesa the first, who was the 30th king of Uganda. Among the 36 kings, he was the 30th king of Uganda. So he lived here. Before, kings could establish different palaces on different hills. Because when a father dies, is about where he has been staying. That could force the foreign king to go and look for a convenient place on a hill and he establishes a palace. There you find a palace, that's the Uganda's capital. But this place is unique because for which it was recognized to be the official burial ground for the kings, for the foreign kings from Mutesa the first, and then we have the official palace where we see the Kabaka's palace at Kabaka, at Meng Hill. So that's the official palace, this is the official burial ground. So that's the small kings changing from one place to another, stopped, from, stopped with this king. So the foreign kings got the main palace 
which is now one of the official palace of Uganda, Mengo Palace or Kabaka's Palace. Then this palace for Kabaka Mr. the first is now recognized as the official burial ground for the kings of Uganda, mm. which place was established in 1882. The king who established this died in 1884, stayed here for only two years. But this was in his first place of residence. He first lived at Rivaga King. Have you ever been to Rivaga that's where we have the main cathedral for the Catholics. So in that year, on that hill, there was a serious outbreak of smallpox on that hill. And they killed many people, they had no choice. So when, after the king decided to leave and he came here, he left that hill to the Catholics. So the investigation continued from there to find out which disease is this. Then they found out it was smallpox. Then the Catholics put hospitals there. We have rubber hospitals put churches and schools, mm -hmm. and the military were treated from smallpox. Mm -hmm. So when the king came here, this was the first house to be established in place. And this was the first, the king first lived, as he was waiting for the big hill to be finished. But they were all concerned in the same year. After the completion of the, the big hut, the king shifted, and they left this house to be a main gate entrance, facing direct to the main house and it was given to the two main royal guards these ones they could be the commanders of the other guards so, mm. so these are their offices inside mm. these people serve for their entire life they do not retire they serve until they die they come from different mm. clans i told you uganda we are a best kingdom mm. that each clan has a specific role within our mm. so these people come from different clans we have that office and that office is the, is the guard who is leading this one, is the head. He's from Mushroom Clan. Mushroom was their totem. Then he's asked by this one from Buffalo. You know Buffalo? Mm -hmm. Buffalo Clan is their totem. So people from those clans, that's their role within Kabaka's palace. So they could sit outside there to check everyone entering into this place. These people do not retire. This one is a hundred years. He came here when he's 16. The one, the one, yeah, the one who is inside. He's 100 years old. He came here when he's 16. That's why you see this place is now recognized by UNESCO. And it is a UNESCO heritage site because of its living heritage. That whatever was taking place in 1882 is still continuing. The two royal guards are still here. Even more rituals are still done. The, the architectural plan of this house, of this place, is still the same. They do innovate the house, but the plan is not changed. The house is 90% made of organic material or plant material. 10% is the normal part of it, the cement, just to increase on the durability and certainty of the house and to check away dangerous insects like termites. But and so the two guards, they die. They are uh, descendants of the ones they are, who take over. They are their lineage, okay. their children, their sons. They are the ones who come and take over. Why yes. are they not with the Kabaka? Where are they not? Yes. Why are they not? Where are the Kabaka? Why are they not? Because this is the main gate entrance and the gatekeepers. These are the guys are the gatekeepers. Security. security. They cannot be in the same house with the king. No, <laughs> his question is eh, since the current king mm. is uh, is uh, in you said you uh, uh, i mean mango, mango. yeah why yeah. are they not in mango because this place is for kabaka mtesa the first and whatever was happening during the time of kabaka mtesa the first is still or they guard uh, that kabaka. they guard this king because in Uganda the king is not die okay. they just uh, disappear it's uh, so there are other guards for the, new for, for the new palace, we have oh, another story. Okay. For the current king, we have another story, not this. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. Oh. About the, these guys, mm. if they die, where are they? Are they, are they, they have families, they can be taken back to their homes. Mm. Yes. So he, 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 he was the very guard that guarded Kabaka No, Mutesa. he is oh. not. He replaced the father. Oh. He came here when he was 16. Because Mutesa died like 140 years back. Mm. Then this one came when he was 16. So he's the one from Buffalo. So it is yeah. his father who guarded Kabaka Mutesa yes. the first. Yeah, I think. I think the father is the one. He's a hundred and? A hundred years late. We hundred celebrate a uh, hundred years, three weeks back. Do you want to go, Jaja? Jaja, let's go. Why? Do you want to go, Jaja?
Kari jaja. Kari. So he's the man. Hundred years. Babu de Kenya. Babu de Kenya. Eh, Kenya. So that's the man. So this Kari jaja. That he's happy to see you. Mm. Oh, yeah. no, no, you can pass. You can pass. You can just pass. You can just pass. Okay. Just pass. No because it is a tabi of passing in between two. Oh, my people, when they are conversing, that's why they have been trying to dodge us. Eh? Oh. They cannot pass in between. In between. When you find, when you find the people conversing, speak to each other. You don't pass in between. Oh. That's why. They have been trying to do just uh, so these are the doors to this place. These doors, these people are the only ones meant to open and close. If you find this door closed, you cannot tamper with it until you wait for these people to come and do so. Even at his age, he's still open. He's, yes, he's still serving and he's proud of it. He's still serving. So in this house, we have the first three to four rings up. The ones you see, the black, the one. black ones. Yeah. In each hut you go to here, the first two rings are put up by the king himself. Yeah. So this one you see, we are put up by Kabaka Mutesa the first himself. They do innovate the house, but these are untouchable. Yeah. If one needs innovation, we have to engage in the current king to do so. So before they renovate the rest, before they renovate the rest, they first provide the support to them so they can stay up. Then they do, people from Leopard can do the rest of the work of designing the rings or renovating the house. But if a mistake comes and the one falls down, none of us is allowed to touch it. We just have to leave it until the current king comes and he takes it and he puts it back after performing rituals. It requires many rituals. Out of curiosity, so for the new Kabaka's house, mm. it has a similar entrance, a similar structure as the entrance. To no, uh, the, the new palace are put the modern way. Okay. Yes. Okay. Also, the guards are in a different way, but they are there. Yeah, they are there. Mm. Okay. It's very, very modern. Mm. High modern. end modern. Mm. Yes. More than anyway. So we can proceed and look at another gate. This is now the main gate entrance mm. to this place. Okay. All visitors to this place are supposed to pass okay. here. Then we have another gate because this place has two main gate entrances. Mm. This one is the main. We have another one besides it. We can move out and look at it. You can take Let's see the Kabaka This is what is now there was the, the Queen. That's the tomb. Actually, it was initially the house. It was his house. Well, name is for the queen of the current king. Okay, for this one. Here we bury the first. So they can't use the first. So they can't use the first. Oh, somewhere. So they can find another public place to bury. Okay, so here it's just the Kabaka. Kabaka is the first. All the queens. For Kabaka is the first. And the descendants of the original ones, they are also buried. Oh, what about the queen of Dawadichwa? Is he also buried? Some of them are buried here. Oh. So it's, it's a tomb for the kings and their queen? Their queen, their wives, children, brothers, and so forth. So it was plain. So this is the next gate. And it's known as a bad gate. Bad gate? Bad. B A D. Okay. Bad gate. Why a bad gate? Because it's major was to bring in and take out the bodies from this place. That's why it's known as a bad gate. So those are the two main gate entrances of this place. So you cannot pass here if you are not dead? You can pass, but the king himself cannot pass. Oh, the king? Mm. Oh, okay. The king cannot pass. So in this place, the biggest threat is fire outbreak. Mm. That's why we saw on 16th March 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, we got a truck down fire here. The big hut down there caught fire and it was all burnt to ashes. Due to its historical components, Buganda Kingdom, Uganda government, Japanese government, and the UNESCO embarked on reconstructing back at the same house the way it was. Currently, 94% of restoration is done, 6% is remaining. Before people could enter, 
But currently, we just have a chance and we end, but we stop at a certain point. We don't go beyond that point. Is there yeah. where Question. the tombs are? Yes, the tombs are there. Are inside the house? They're inside the house. Question. Yes. This, uh, you said there are two entrances, this and this. Yes. At what point is this used and at what point is they open? This, this one is when, it is where the guests this place pass. Yeah. This is the official gate for the visitors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then this one, its major role is to bring in and take out baby bodies. Oh. Yes. Of so, the king? Not only the king, anyone. If some if one dies from here and you have to take him over outside, that gate, the devil can't pass here. And if the king wanted to leave his house, he would live with here or he would No, he would leave from here. Yeah. From here, mm -hmm. from here. The king cannot, cannot pass cannot the other pass place. Bad yes, gate. Mm -hmm. bad gate. So generally... And they can also use it to bring any gifts to the king. Remember in Uganda, people keep on donating it. gifts yeah. to the king. Yeah. If a vehicle is coming, or when the people are coming, carrying them in their heads, they pass here. Yeah. Yes. So after there, we come to another house. Oh. We come to this house. From there, we come to this house, which is the Red Rams house. In Africa, we never had phones, we never had radios, TVs. People could use drums, they could sound the drums with different rhythms to extend certain information to people here in Uganda. I don't know whether it was like that even in your country. So drums could be sounded with different rhythms to tell people that this and this has happened, mm -hmm. or the king is trying to communicate such and such. Mm -hmm. So each king, at the time of crowning him, is given such drums. They are in a big set, mm -hmm. and they are called the Mujaguzo, mm -hmm. meaning celebration. Mm -hmm. So these drums for the king are called Mujaguzo drums. Each king has such drums. But we go on and categorize them into three categories. The first category is Mujabuzu, mm. the one for celebration. So that drum is sounded when the king is crowned, mm. sounded when we are having a newborn child within the palace, mm. also sounded when the king is moving out to visit people in the community. Mm. So it is celebrating. Okay. So another category is Banta Day. It can mean free. That one would be sounded early in the morning and late evening to tell people that the palace is peaceful, you can continue with your work. Mm. Another category is Kanaba, smallest drum with the highest pitch. When sounded, can cover a larger area. That one sounded time of danger. Mm. When someone has died from here, or when the palace is at war, that's mm. when that drum is sounded. But not everyone is permitted to do that work of sounding or drumming those drums. Only a specific person from Pangolin clan and the people from Pangolin clan, that's their work within the Kabaka's palace. They are mm. the drummers, mm. but they have to bring the chief drummer. Mm. The chief drummer is the one who stays here, and this is his office. Mm. So this is the media house of that time. Okay. Yes. Mm. And uh, this okay, man... <laughs> so this man lives a celebrated life. He lives a celebrated life, no, no marrying for the entire life. Yes. He lives, yes, he lives a celebrated life. Because no he marry. can be distracted he, when he Yes, that's <laughs> why culturally, culturally, girls and ladies are not allowed to enter to this house. Oh, because we can confuse. distract him. Yeah, you can distract him. When he is work as a drum. Because even in the evening, she could bring out drums for MDD, for music, dance, and the drama, so that people can dance and entertain the king. So this is the chief drama. And culturally, Men are not allowed to sleep within this place. Mm. The king would sleep here with the wives. Mm. Apart from some of the guards and this person, mm. the, the rest of the men, the guards are allowed to marry. But this one, no. no. He could serve too. Mm. He, he, he could be having two roles or duties. Chief drama and supervisor. Mm. 
you could even supervise all men who happen to sleep inside. Mm. If men happen to sleep in here, he's the one to supervise them so they don't tell us the Habakkuk's wives. <laughs> so was he online not allowed to marry or even pin up in everything? Was everything, everything. Is there a case ah, where they block that code? Any, any of the children? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where they try to marry or something? Is there a case no, where children are? No, no. No, so, no marrying. The when he dies, they go back to the same family <laughs> and they get another boy to come. So and is serve. there one who is now living there? Yes, we have, but currently he's not, he's not here. Mm. But he's, he will come back soon. Mm. This is the place. It's the same as a dad. Once you're a drama, you're a drama. For life. life. Yes, for the family. family. Yeah. So yeah. even now, he's not allowed to marry? Yeah. Currently, I cannot tell, but that's <laughs> how it is done. It was. Currently, yeah. They are given something because we we are in a changing world. They yeah. cannot live without something. Yeah. And people in Uganda keep on bringing gifts to the kings. Mm -hmm. Whatever they bring, it is brought here to cater for these people. Okay. Yes. I have so, a question. Mm. There was rumors that like in low height. So, so these are the drums, the actual drums that one of them, Kabaka Mutesa, uh, uh, used. These are the actual drums. They do renovate them, but so most of them are the actual drums. He's the only one permitted to drum. No one is. I cannot do that work. He's the only one permitted to do that work. So these drums have been here since 1882. They do renovate them, but they are the same drums. The big one, the middle, is the one from Jaws' celebration. One sounded when we, we are crowning the king, when the king is celebrating coronation, or when we have a newborn child within the palace. Mm. These ones are the banter day, free. D sounded morning, mm. evening, to tell people the palace is peaceful, go on with your work. Mm. This one is Kanaba, the small drum, the with the highest pitch, sounded mm. a time of danger, when the palace is at war, or when the, someone is dead within the palace. So you as a man, the moment you hear that drum being sounded, you leave whatever you could be doing, you pick your shield, your spear, your arrow, you rush yeah, to, to that place that has been sounded. <laughs> <laughs> if the king is calling you to go for a war, you just go. You cannot oppose the king's word, because his word was final. In Uganda, drums do not touch the ground. That's why they're stored in such a way. If you, if you take them outside for drumming, this is the back of cloth. You have to lay down and the drums sit on it. Why, why are drums not allowed to touch the ground? When trying to analyze that, our people, oh, our ancestors were very wise. Because this drum is made out of the animal skin, from top to bottom it is animal. You can keep it out, down and sometimes you will find that this water can come in and damage the, the drum. And you can take it outside and put it down there and the, when you eat that place has, is having some water. So when this drum is wet, it can't stay for some good time, and it cannot sound very well. Mm. But they, for us, they could tell us they are not supposed to touch the ground. No, have it in mind. Mm. Yes. So these are the drums, the special sticks. These are the special sticks this man could use to sound the drums. And up to now, he's still using them to sound the drums. So question. So if let's say the current Kabaka mm. is having an issue where he is, if he sounds a drum, does this guy also sound the drums here or is this the one in the current palace? No, in the current palace. We For have him, he went. Okay. From that side. Okay. So yeah, this is... Sound, then this one will also come and sound. He, he can leave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can only sound when something has happened here. here. Okay. Mm. Okay. So this is the Mtesa's canoe. Kabaka Mtesa, the first who lived here, is the king of Uganda. Who invited or who wrote a letter which invited the missionaries to come to Uganda? Mm -hmm. So he wrote, he wrote Mutesa's account. When he wrote that letter to Queen Victoria of England in 1875, they came with gifts. Even a canoe was inclusive. But it was small in size. He admired it so much because it would destroy an enemy. Oh, we, 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 with a lot of ease. So what he did is to come up with such which can resemble the real canoe. So it could be put in the compound as a way of scaring enemies. Mm -hmm. They could call it a big gun from Tessa. So try to keep it here. 
you can move out and then so I have the main house mm -hmm. in this place. This is the main house in this place. Mm -hmm. And it is known as Muzibu mm -hmm. Azalampanga. The king could give a special name to the house, mm -hmm. to his house. Each king could give a special name to his house. So Kabaka the first who lived here in 1882 gave that name to this house, Muzibu Azalampanga, meaning a king produces a king. Mm -hmm. So that's where the kings are buried. Mm -hmm. When you enter into that hut, it is divided into two using a back coast curtain. Mm. Behind the back coast curtain is a sacred forest where the kings are buried. Mm. So, Kabaka Mtsa, the first who lived here, practiced polygamous marriage. Mm. He had 84 wives. Eh? He married 84 wives. 84? 84. I told you this place, the place of living age. that whatever was taking place is still happening. The 84 wives are still in place. When one dies, Another person from the same family comes and takes over. So a king could marry from each and every clan. Oh. We had defeated two clans, but we are seeing the wives are 84. So even you could the wives who died, they are replaced? They, they are replaced. Even when the king died? Yes, even up to now, if one dies here, they will bring another one to stay in this place. They bring a young girl or anybody? Any, any, but, but from, from the same the family. family. Mm. So the houses you see inside are for the wives. But how come okay. others are still traditional, others have been put in order? Others have been put like that because this time around the material is somewhere else. These are the only houses maintained the same. This is the key houses in this place. Mm. These ones can be put modern because material is scarce. And they, they want to make it durable. But but now, they, uh, and they, another they question. Eh? Houses. With this place is only 64 acres of land. More houses are down there. Oh, so mm. hold on. Mm. When they bring in another woman, mm. who gives birth to them? Who sires the children? Exactly, that's what when I wanted the, to ask. The king is dead. Or the like women? who services the women? That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> <laughs> who services the new king? Culturally, wife? they are wives to the king, mm -hmm. but they are given a chance to go and marry oh. to another person. Oh. They do have shifts. If the shift of that particular person comes, mm. that person will leave the family and they will come and stay here mm. and serve for that period. They may say two months, then after that she can go back. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. When the, the, the time comes again, she will leave and they come here. But mm. here, if the king is, she's just occupying the space. The space. You cannot bring the, in a man. She cannot bring in a man here. Okay. Yes. So you but could be married man. somewhere else, yes, contemporary. Yes. Mm. You come here, mm. you are the wife of the king, the then king. you go back to your husband. Your husband, your Then your husband. you are, have another two months to stay in the mm. palace. You it come must back. be very prestigious to marry a king. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's a so the king could marry from <laughs> each clan. That could help to promote unity. So 52 clans. So you could matter from the other Every 50 remain and leaves the yeah, the other two his clan and they the mother's clan yeah. mm. yes. what what is is where a woman has two husbands the queen is to live with the because king. you have that so husband so these the queens they so could when he they, alive, they could be given terms like polygamous they could meet a king in a big hut in shift mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. like and the, the third wife to no the king the second wife I'm sorry the second wife of the king is the one to arrange those shifts for those wives. Mm. So if your shift comes, you leave your house, you come and meet the king. Then after you go back, another wife comes in. No, like I that. still have these questions. These kids we are seeing around, are they born outside with them? Outside. And you come with them the, to the yeah, kingdom? The mother can come with them, mm. but a, a father cannot come. Mm. When the time gets over, she can't go back with them. So when they're here, they're being fed and taken care of the, by the gifts that are brought here. Yes, the that are brought here. Mm. Mm. King is well. And they have young children. Yes. Yeah. I'm seeing. Mm. Mm. So, <laughs> let us do this the first time. Mm. Let us go the peep inside <laughs> and we see how we do it. Yes, she has a. Remember? The king could marry men as mm. he could, mm. but he has to first get the first three wives. Mm. The first wife, mm. the first wife is entitled Kadulubari. Kadulubari is the first wife. Mm. So after calling the king, the clan leaders mm. are the ones to look for such a girl, mm. a beautiful and a virgin girl for mm. the king. Then that girl is brought here. 
Oh, uh, she could be taken to the king, mm. and that's the first wife, and she's given title Kadul Bali. Mm. She's the one leading all the wives, mm. and she's the queen, the mm. official queen. This time round, we address her as Nabagereka. Mm. So the title was changed from Kadul Bali to Nabagereka. But mm. here, we maintain that name because during our the first regime, we could call her Kadul Bali. Mm. Then, after getting that one, the first wife, she's the queen. Then the rest are uh, having different titles. Mm. The second wife is given the title of Nasaza. Mm. The grandmother of the king is the one to look for that girl. When the king gets the first one, then the grandmother do mm. the, that work of finding another girl. That's the second wife. Her role is to design the, the timetable, the shifts for the wives, mm -hmm. and even to take care of the sitting room mm. in the Kabaka's house. After getting that one, the second wife, Nasaza, the king also given a chance to look for a beautiful girl by himself. And that's the third wife, so we given, given we a title of Kabeja. Mm -hmm. The king's favorite. When, yeah, the king's favorite. We try to translate mm -hmm. Kabeja. <laughs> and that <laughs> wife could, she could be close to the king mm -hmm. and she could Anytime. be knowing mm -hmm. um, some of the secrets of the king. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so they have they have the different houses eh? mm. down there we shall look at them mm. yes and their descendants when they come they take over such houses and they are they also take over such titles mm. so then the rest team mm. uh, come here after clan leaders choose them because each clan leader is supposed to bring here girl. Mm -hmm. So they keep on bringing, bringing, bringing. Mm -hmm. And those are given a uniform title, mm -hmm. Muzana. Mm -hmm. Muzana, each one is called Muzana, Muzana. Mm -hmm. But it's from the first three, Kadulubari, Nasaza, and Kabeja. The rest Kabeja. Kabeja. So, Kabeja. so who had, yeah, so, out of yeah. the, yeah. out of yeah. the 30-something kings, how many, uh, which one had had the highest number of wives? The kings? Mm. Ah. Many, the, the kings of... Long time mm. they had many. You know, I see the father, mm. the father to this king mm. was Kabaka Sona the second. Mm. In the history shows that he had the 140 something wives. <laughs> they didn't have mm. concubines. Bad, bad. It was also... <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, he was a senior <laughs> man. <laughs> it's not like he was even there are those ones he liked and then there are those ones that was being gifted. Yeah, you are tribe just bring if you my are daughter. a father and you have a beautiful daughter, ah. you give to the king. Yeah. And to give favor. Yeah. The, a grand house in Uganda, when the thatch is touching the ground, mm. that is a palace. Mm. So oh. each palace you go to, the palace is constructed in this way, in this uh, traditional mm. way, the thatch is touching the ground. So that's the palace. Where, where yeah. does the, they get the thatch from? They get it from the villages. Mm, because it's around we are in the town you can't find it. So people from the village can find it. Is it reed? Is it what type of grass? This is spear grass. This spear grass. Spear grass. Yes. We still have another group. Okay. We can first move around mm. and then we look like yeah, pause. Yeah. Pause. Yes. We have pause this He mentioned that there are going to be fifty two so these are the houses of the the wives of the king. Yes, they are two the same. Wood or steel? Wood. 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 So we are still in Kabaka's palace. But we were just introduced in 1938 by Kabaka Dawudicha to make the house stand firm, mm. yes, since it is too big. So this side, it is a real village setting. Mm. For those who are living in the villages, mm. you can mm. see, this is mm. how a village looks like. And this side, that we have more houses for the wives of the king. Mm. And we have burial ground mm -hmm. for the wives, brothers, children, and the sisters of the king. Mm. So this side, in this house, and outside we have sisters to Kabaka Mtisa, the first buried here. Mm. Then this side, these houses, we have sis we have wives to Kabaka Mtisa, the first. This is Matoki Bana Plantation. Mm. This is Matoki, our staple food. Mm. That's our staple food in Uganda. 
I don't know in your country what is your step of food. Do you eat matoke? Okay? Yeah, we do. You we do, do, yeah. But yeah. it's not step of food. I have a question. Mm. This house is the way the way they are is the way they were built or are they have just have you guys just built like are there houses that are actually the, existing in at first all houses here we are well touched houses. Oh, but the main houses are the ones with which are still well touched. Oh, then, These ones, they can be turned into the modern part of village. Mm -hmm. But we have that house down there, mm -hmm. that house which is very old. Mm -hmm. It is where the queen, the first wife, was staying. Can we go and have a look at it? Yeah, we are going to go. Okay. So, that is the first kind of a modern house for our ancestors. Mm -hmm. They were people used to live in the well touched houses. So the rest of the houses for the wives were well touched. Yeah. So when technology came, mm. they put such a structure. They put such a structure for a special wife. That's the queen, the first two. Why? Wife to the king. And that's the modern, the first modern house of that kind in this place. Mm. So we, we started to leave it there so that people can look at it and see where our ancestors are certainly from because they are from well thatched houses, then they moved to such houses mm. and you can't have them. Are you enjoying the lesson? <laughs> <laughs> you are enjoying the lesson? I mean this, this is called the lesson. You are enjoying it? <laughs> so this house has been here since when? 1882. Since yes. 1882, 1882. it was the house of the the first wife to the to the king. That is Kaduluvali. Kaduluvali. And the one we have, the Kaduluvali we have now, the descendant, mm. is the one who's sitting outside. Oh. That one, and she's the fourth successor to the original. The fourth successor. Uh, when they die, they are buried in their respective plots of land. Mm. Each wife has a burial ground, so they are buried there. So she's the first successor, as you see, I have been before. So this is her house, uh, Panau. Panau okay, can house. can I just enter and see you how this house looks? This is even has a ceiling. You can peek inside. She's using a kitchen right now. Mm. I can enter inside. You can. Uh, I so stop from. Uh, oh. Uh, oh wow! It has yeah. a ceiling. It has a ceiling. So this this ceiling was built in in 1882. They do renovate it, but oh. it was like this. So the house is renovated. Same size, mm. same size, same architectural plan. Wow. They do innovate. Oh, 1882. That's the first kind of a modern house in the place. Oh, mm. nice. In 1882. Yes. <laughs> wow, beautiful. Hello. Jewale. Kale, kale. We, 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 Kale, kale. Mm. So that's where the first wife is staying. Mm. Can I talk to her? You can talk to her. Okay. Remember. <laughs> how, how does it uh, feel to be the Kabaka's wife? Mbadembuza. you can go. Mm. But this house remains her house. Oh. Thank you so much. Where about it? Kale, kale. Okay, bye. <laughs> Do you mean the big one or the small one? This one, the big one. This one. The small one. This one with root roots. Oh yes, 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 yes. 
So this is the tree. You find the one which is having the stem which is like this, which is fake. Mm. Then you peel off the pot. Mm. So the more you bang it, the more it expands. The more you bang, the more it gets the brown color. Mm. And that is the final product here, which is known as a back of cloth. Mm. After pounding it, you have to to spread to, it down. To spread it down mm. under shan shan mm. and you set some fire mm. on it. Mm. You get the dry burner leaves you, because for them they cannot burn like a firewood. Mm. You put them there, you set fire mm. for some few minutes, then after mm. you put it under shan shan and stretch mm. it very well. Mm. When it dries up, that's the back of yeah. And that is the traditional way. It could be used as bride flies. You want to marry someone's daughter, you could take a bundle of wool, back across, they give you a girl. Mm. You want to buy something, yeah. that's could be man of that time. Mm. You take sure, back across, yeah. they give you. Okay. And that's where the dead bodies are wrapped. Mm. People said, if someone is buried in many back across, mm. and, and in the grave, mm. the body can take uh, like 20 years without rotting. Oh. Yes. And the back across is important to mosquitoes. Mm. When you smoke it from your house, the mosquitoes cannot extend, cannot come where you are. When you cover yourself with the back across, because it could be using, it could be used as a bedding. By that time, it, it, the mosquito cannot sting you. And the current, after UNESCO recognizing it as a UNESCO intangible product in 2005, it is now on international market, and it is on a high demand. It is exported to German, to Mercedes-Benz company to design the car cushion in a Mercedes-Benz. Which back across is originating from Uganda Kingdom, where I am now. Mm. So being here, Serious. being here, we also we, we, why aren't I not making money? We, <laughs> <laughs> For sure. We, we also <laughs> recommend <laughs> our travelers like you. If you visit such a place, you go back home at it with such a, a cloth mm. at home. We yeah. added the value on them. We have some other cool art paintings, mm. which under the current government. The South Desert is under Zambia and China and Ethiopia. So when he died in 2014, the cage was put around him by the President of to thank him for the wonderful work he did for the country. I request you to, to proceed with the same time. This is Jacob Fuji. Have you ever tested it? Now, Omulangira means uh, a prince. Renovating these graves, they can come and renovate them time after time. Okay. And they keep, keep on doing flowers. Yeah, they so, it should they, it should a random person can just they come and bring flowers to any place? Yeah, they are relatives. They, no. they are good families. Oh. They are the ones who are doing such. Yeah, oh, like a husband and sister. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody is in the way. So is here. So the one we have now is 104 years old, but she's also the first successor to the original one. The graves were singing in the sides. Behind you, yeah. facing up, they are the wives, the Kabaka Mutuka, the first, the third wife. The original one is this grave. Mm -hmm. uh, when she died, another person took over. That's the second grave. When she died, another person took over the third grave. The third grave, when she died, the current one took over. Mm -hmm. So they are in such a way, going down. Mm -hmm. So, Notice this. This, this one is uh, for Dawood Echua. We, oh, they are, they are something they actually uh, thought uh, they were logs. No, no so this one wife for the wood truck, Muzana, or Muzana and the rest of the wives, eh? Without any special oh. they're given a, a uniform title, Muzana, Muzana. You can go? So hold on, eh? Azala and Panga. Muzibu, Azala and Panga, a king produces a king. Mm. This is the house which caught fire in 2010. Mm. It is still under restoration, but almost done. Mm. 94% of restoration is done. Mm. The house is designed in such a way which is amazing with two ceilings, this one, the inner one and the outer one. Mm. This helps to regulate temperature within the house. Oh. It can never be too hot even if it is too hot outside. It can never be too cold even if it is too cold outside. Mm. The house is the house 
from that middle, this side it is like an overturned basket mm. made up of rings. Mm. These rings are indicating the kinds of Uganda. Mm. They are fitted to in number. Mm. From that, you will see even the, the poles down supporting the roof. Mm. And this one is outside. Mm. All over the house, they are fitted to in number to show. The 52 cans of Uganda. Each can has a specific role within Kamakazi mm -hmm. Paris. Mm -hmm. Then we have back post curtain yeah. dividing the hut into two. Mm -hmm. Behind the back post curtain, we call it a sacred forest. Mm -hmm. That's where the kings are kept or are buried. Mm -hmm. The kings are kept there, and that point is not accessible to everyone, mm -hmm. only widows, royal family members, and a few people from the Mupad clan who do the interior designing of the Kamakazi houses are the only ones permitted to go behind the back post curtain. Mm. The guests will stop at the sitting area or at the waiting place. Mm. So this is the biggest hut of this kind in the whole world. But in front of the back post curtain, we have replicas of the grave. Mm. They are not the real graves, but they just symbol resembling or representing each grave behind a back post curtain. Mm. After the completion of this house, each replica will have a, a photo for each king, king. and the regalias of each king mm -hmm. and uh, here we shall have mats and mm -hmm. people have, will be able to, uh, to go in and, uh, and see mm -hmm. the graveyard the, the grey the pictures <laughs> and regalias <laughs> of the kings they were inside we have rooms mm -hmm. for the wives they do have the shifts if one shift one shift comes that person will have to come and uh, stay yes, here yes, yes. she will be the one to welcome the guests you find them here welcoming the guests uh, and they have to make some stories about the guests mm -hmm. and they have to make sure this house is clean enough for people to come in. Mm -hmm. so, so how long is the tombs? 